was an era of Cold War and hot blondes. Marilyn Monroe, the undisputed queen of glamour. Mamie Van Doren, the pretender to the throne. And Jane Mansfield, the lady in waiting. Now, down to business. When the three M's were going good, this community was jumping. The concept of the blonde bombshell reached its zenith in the 50s with the three M's. Marilyn Monroe, Jane Mansfield, and Mamie Van Doren are the quintessential queens of the blonde bombshell persona. Marilyn, Mansfield, and Mamie helped redefine glamour in the 50s. They personified sex during a conservative time. The 50s, and for me, is the most fascinating period of glamour, partly because it was a transitional decade that you had uh, uh, more of a breaking free of the old mold and uh, more of a willingness to embrace sensuality and sexuality on screen and in print. Marilyn Monroe has become a legend of unprecedented proportions. Her appeal is enduring and universal. There was never any, any doubt about who would be number one for all time, Marilyn Monroe. Uh, she, is, she, she is eternal glamour in, in, in all of its elements. Jane Mansfield created her own stardom out of sheer will. No one worked harder to achieve the Hollywood dream. Jane Mansfield, I think one of the reasons that she was uh, voted the number three glamour girl of all time is the fact that she loved and embraced the glamour image. She wanted to be the sex goddess of the world and did anything uh, to accomplish that objective. Oh, this is one of the classic glamour photos of all time, Jane Mansfield, cover of uh, Cabaret Quarterly. Uh, that's just the, the essential sex bomb. Jane Mansfield was only 34 when she was killed in a car crash, just five years after Marilyn died of an overdose at the age of 36. Mamie Van Doren is the only one of the three M's who survived. Mamie remains one of the most interesting Hollywood stars of the 50s. Mamie Van Doren to me is, is enormously important as a pop cultural uh, symbol because she was, she was the girl who invented rock and roll, she said in one of her films. Uh, she, un unlike Marilyn Monroe and Jane Mansfield, who are more traditional in many ways in terms of their cultural attitudes, Mamie was a true rock and roller, both in her private life and uh, on screen. Uh, she was a rebel. Uh, she uh, basically uh, did what she pleased went to bed with who she, who she felt she wanted to go to bed with, lived the way she wanted to live. She was ahead of her time, a generation ahead of her time, and people love her for that. Because of her look, Mamie was frequently compared to the other bombshells. Oh, God, yes. I was compared to Harlow more than Monroe because I had a short platinum hair, more so than Marilyn, and I, my body was more like jeans, and um, I was more sophisticated and kind of outspoken and I wasn't so shy and introverted. I was more like Harlow, kind of carefree and, you know, bounced along. But Mamie's independence and seething sexuality sometimes caused her problems. You know that the uh, Cardinal Spellman wouldn't give any of my movies the, 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 the Legion of Decency seal. I was, uh, I was blacklisted for television. I couldn't do a forward bump on television or in the movies. You had to do a back bump. Can you imagine doing a back bump? Uh, you had to cover your breasts. I mean, censorship really sucked. In reaction to the censorship of the early 50s, Mamie helped invent what would become a memorable symbol, the bullet bra. These are not bullets. They're just, you know, round cantaloupes. <laughs> but in, in the days of the 50s, um, the 50s, uh, you weren't allowed to show cleavage, okay? I said, I want them more pointed, you know? So we pointed them like cones, you know? <laughs> and, and so we made them out bigger and bigger. Today, just as big as ever to her many fans, Mamie has found a cause worthy of her status as a Hollywood legend. I'm very active in, the, uh, in Orange County. I was down there this last Saturday, <laughs> AIDS Day, and uh, viewing the quilts, and it was very, very traumatic. And that's what got me really interested in wanting to do more. I appeared in discos, in, in, in parks, in uh, any place that would hear me to talk about it. Thank you, Jess. Mamie's activism is proof that true beauty is timeless and ageless. Jean, Carol, Marilyn, Jane, and Mamie represent the height of glamour. The Blonde Bombshell is one of Hollywood's most indelible and popular images.